Hey there, so today we have another review. This is Weinstefana Hefeweissbier, but now it's in a can. Isn't that crazy? So uh, they've uh, started putting this um, beer in cans and finally thought I'd you know, dig into a review for you guys. Uh, this is a 500 mil can, so I assume this was actually, well, it says brewed uh, at Weinstefan, so I think this is actually a Weinstefan can. Like they import it, now they can. Like I said, okay, they can't have the brew there now? It's crazy. Uh, imported by Total Beverage in Mount Pleasant, uh, uh, South Carolina, and yeah, it's best by I guess two years. So this can is about three months old. Yeah, not three months old. Two year best buy. I'm curious how this turns out. I'm doing it in this glass because, like, you know, I'm not doing it in the beer, beer glass because I don't have a proper ice beer glass, but at least it's a tall glass, right? And I, I mean, this was jostled, rolled around, so it has a proper haze. I'm curious how this turns out because the bottle conditioning, those bottle conditioning, this beer should sit at a much higher volume of CO2 than a lot of your ales or even lagers that you find on the shelf. So the cans should handle it, I guess. And then this one got beat up a little bit, so who knows? But let's see how this one turns out. Uh, I got that really proper haze. Um, I'm going to try to drink a little bit and try to get the whole can in glass and we'll see how it, hopefully, if the yeast, I think I'd roll a bit, but anyway, we'll see. A uh, nice lasting white head, uh, comes in a like light to medium gold color, nice beautiful haze on that. Yeah, classic. Um, clovey, spicy, bubblegum This was one of those, <clears throat> sorry, styles that for me, it's just one of the most obvious. Very little beers smell like this. Granted, there are variations of the vice beer style that have this yeast, but it's just like, it's just so very specific. It's one of those like sort of gimmies, I feel. But then again, you could be tricked into, you know, by, anyway, <laughs> a bunch of other styles, but it, at least you're in the range when you smell this. What am I gonna say? That's uh, Vine Chef on Hefe Weissbier, right? Mm. Wonderfully quaffable, 5.4. Um, the noticeable thing for me, is that this beer is not as fruity as I remember. Maybe the can or who knows what the difference is and the shipment and how it's preserved. Yeah, usually, is it stale? I don't know, it's not as vibrant as I remember. Sometimes like this beer for me gets this like nice kind of like orange creamsicle flavor up front, more banana-y, banana um, cream pie kind of thing. This one is more just like, Weedy, spicy, very tasty, but it lacks th that top note that I'm very familiar with. Um, all right, let's get this rolled around. I get the rest in the glass. Oof. It's a nice looking beer. I mean, ideally, I get more head on that. I'm just trying to swirl it around, but extremely drinkable. I should have just bought another. I should have bought this and then went to the store and bought the bottle, had them side by side. Um, very tasty, but not exactly where I uh, like it as usual. So let's go with a solid. That's a very tasty beer. For the longest time, I did not like the style, but now I'm back to it. That's so crazy. You know, we, we sort of like do a 180 or a 360 on our journey. Like wheat beers were one of my favorite things when, before I even got into beer, I liked them. Then I got into beer, hated wheat beers took years and years and years. And I'm like, like, you know, since moving actually down to Florida within the last couple of years, revisit the style, I'm like, oh darn, that is so tasty and drinkable. And it reminded me of why I liked it before I was into beer. So we just do that whole 360. We just all go, we just all go back to like what we always like. And I tell you for the longest time, I really did not care about this beer because it felt so bland, blah, 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 blah. But let's get the rest of the beer. What did you get, Bianca? You guys post in the comments below about your experience with uh, Vice Beer or any of these like more accessible, drinkable styles that you might have liked earlier, didn't like, and then went back to it. Yeah, yeah, I had it rolled around. I don't think it got any more hazy with all of it poured out. So tasty stuff. Let's go with the solid ninety. Uh, that's fine. Chiffon and half of Vice Beer. Um, gotta get myself a bottle. The bottle, I think it might be where it's at. But if you had a can, let me know what you think. Let me know if you have any uh, comparison with that. But I'll have to do the experiment for you guys, I guess. Post in the comments below if you want me to. Cheers. Later.